Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video uh, I want to show you how to connect the Capture Visualizer with Onyx. Now this is going to apply whether you're using Onyx on a PC or on a console. Uh, it's the same process and I'll walk you through the nuances as we go through it. We're going to connect it with Capture uh, and this will apply to other consoles as well. So. To connect to Capture, whether we're within the same computer, on a different computer, or on a console, the very first step is to set up Onyx to output DMX through the network over to Capture. We're going to choose to do that through SACN because it's generally easier to set up, and in my mind, it seems to be the way that the future is going. So I've opened an existing show file here inside of Onyx, and I'm going to go to the menu, Go into the main menu and go under network to ether DMX. The tab you'll be brought to if you haven't been here before is devices, but we're going to go down to SACN. At the top here, we'll toggle it on. We'll set our universes that you want to send. And then we'll select the network interface that we want to use. For me, it's this top one. If you're on a console, it will be the interface labeled Ether DMX, not the one labeled Remote. If you're on a computer, uh, it's likely going to be your wired network that you'll send between a console and a computer, but again, it depends how you've set things up. Once we do that, all we've got to do is press Apply. Now, SACN is turned on and it's sending. Now, if you do need to configure your IP address, if for any reason the one that it's got by default is not correct, we can do that under the main settings tab here in network. We could switch it between automatic, a static IP, and an Ether DMX IP, which will be in the two dot IP address range. Awesome, now mine was all good, but if you had to change anything there, you could press apply. And then we'll press back to go into Onyx. At this point, we're sending data. So over to capture, I'm going to go to the Universes tab. This is Capture 2018, but I know 2019 looks very similar as well. Now, mine has automatically picked up that BSR E1.31, that's SACN in Capture Speak, a Universe 1 wants to be connected to Universe A of my Capture file. Okay? And we can see any DMX that's streaming. For example, if I scroll down, I see values for some of my fixtures um, that are in their home position. So all you got to do is if you're not connected, go to this external universe, double click and find the universe that you're looking for. Okay. If it's not there, um, a reboot of capture often works. I found that, um, especially when I'm working on the same PC capture really likes it. If you've already started streaming the DMX before you load capture. Also, if you need to configure more network settings, if something's just not working right, press the more button at the bottom of this window and it'll open up the network settings in Capture. Let me go ahead and load a file that I had before so I can show you a few other things that can help you diagnose any issues you may have. Awesome, so I've just loaded Capture and I'm gonna load a project that I was working on earlier today. Now, in the Universes tab, I can see here that I've got my one universe, it's patched in, and if I check on my fixtures, I can now see, popping this edit out gives me the ability to go full screen, but I can now see all of my different fixtures as I select them, and I can see what each channel is doing. So if I have a difference of patch between Capture and Onyx, I can go ahead and find that in this window. I can see where things don't line up. I can light things up, for example, LEDs, make this really simple. If I highlight those, I'll start to see values in the red, green, blue. And I know if those aren't lined up right, that something's not right in my patch. Uh, if as long as you match the two patches up and get your universes matched up right here, you'll be good to go with Capture and Onyx. Now, I got to thank a couple people here right now, which are my patrons, Taz, Kristen, and Craig. Thank you guys so much for supporting Learn Stage Lighting, and you can join them too. Help put out great videos like this by chipping in a few bucks each month at learnstagelighting.com slash 
Patreon. There will be a link below as well. And last, if you want to get started and or master Onyx, I've got a course called Onyx for the Complete Newbie, and it's part of Learn Stage Lighting Labs, which you can also learn about below or here on the end screen. Besides that, I hope you subscribe so I can send you another video soon, and I will see you in the next video.